Hello, my name is Rahul Bhadani and I'm a PhD student at the University of Arizona. Today I'm going to talk about programming the Kennedy receiver for capacity maximization versus minimizing one short error probability. We consider two types of quantum communication, transmitting a quantum state and expecting a receiver to detect quantum state. Use of, then the second one is use of quantum states to transmit classical information. This is called as a semi-classical quantum communication. In our work, we use semi-classical quantum communication with a uh, lossy bosonic channel and a coherent state. Our objective, uh, the, there can be many, many objectives, for example, reduce the error probability or maximize the mutual information. Uh, however, they do not go hand in hand. In our work, we, uh, we use the mutual information with an objective to maximize it using a displacement receiver design. The displacement receiver uses a displacement scheme using beam splitters and a coherent local oscillator. Canada receiver is an example of a displacement receiver that optimizes displacement of a BPSK symbols followed by direct detection. Unlike earlier design scheme of a displacement receiver, our objective is to maximize mutual information not only over prior, prior probability but also over displacement amount beta. Hence, our objective is max of uh, in mutual information over prior and displacement. We call this generalized capacity. To solve our objective, we use Newton's method. And, uh, and for the software, we use MATLAB symbolic toolbox and distributed computing toolbox. Our result demonstrate that the generalized capacity achieved by Kennedy receiver with optimal prior and optimal displacement simultaneously is higher than the one achieved by the exact displacement. Further, the result was more prominent in low photon region, but obtained convergence near high photon or a low photon region. Further, we draw the comparison of our screen with other types of the receiver that the graph is, in the graph is shown here. Uh, the Dolina receiver is higher, uh, but while the Homodyne receivers is the lowest. Uh, we discuss designing a receiver for maximizing communication rate versus the minimizing one shot probability of error. The following figure shows an average error probability for one shot VPSK discrimination with an equal prior. Uh, we note that the homodyne receiver's probability of error performance is strictly worse than the Kennedy receiver with optimized displacement, whereas there is a crossover between homodyne and the Kennedy receivers when the beta is uh, zero. For channel capacity, for the case of both uh, zero uh, displacement and optimized displacement for capacity, homodyne receiver does inferior to the Kennedy receiver. Further, we find out that the optimized displacement is quite different than what minimizes the error probability for single shot BPSK state discrimination. This shows that an optimal receiver may need to be programmed differently based on the information processing task at the hand and that may optimizing us receiver to minimize symbol error probability may not result in capacity maximizing setting for the same receiver and vice versa. So this concludes my talk. Thanks for listening. If you have any question, feel free to ask. Thank you.